What's up, PC? Your boy, the Washington 607. I'm here to do another video. Um, also, just before I start this, um, this was mostly inspired by um, a video that I saw by Karn um, when he was showing a lot of the, I guess, you know, the kind of, you know, I guess, um, spiritual greats, you know, melodic kind of stuff he was showing in one of his last couple of videos and stuff, which were amazing. I love Karn, one of the best people you can just talk to about music, life in general, and stuff. One of my favorite people, good friend. So um, I want to get started here. Oops, sorry, but now this one I know a lot of you guys have seen before. If you haven't, um, you should have it. And of course, that's I Am the Center, Private Issue New Age Music in America, 1950 to 1990, a two CD set. This great, beautiful, spiritual, great New Age, all different kind of layers music. You can see that. Every t you know when I when I was listening to this had my headphones on and then I decided just to look at that picture and hear the music you know sometimes I wish I was at a place like this don't have all the craziness of the world and stuff just some nice beautiful stuff melodic beautiful so definitely I am the center and I know I've seen this on vinyl I've seen some of you guys show it through the years I've been here to VC another one that I definitely love Tony Scott music for Zen meditation and other joys right there this is beautiful everyone should have this beautiful spiritual new agey jazz here yeah. I'm gonna try and open it hold on to the thing and you can see when you start playing there beautiful little picture there and this is just a beautiful record so melodic just stuff just to it's floaty spacey and you can definitely you can definitely meditate to this and I did and I need it believe me so definitely the Tony Scott music for Zen meditation and other joys. So definitely, and I'm very label there. Beautiful stuff. Yeah. Now these next um, few is for a label called Clean Feed. They're like a jazz kind of label. And the first one I'm going to show is this album called Tone Hunting. I can't really pronounce all these people here. Anna Galuza, Arthur Majeski. Raphael Mazur, Kuba Shuba, Shua. I love that cover right there. And I'll show you. Um, you guys right there. The one right here, Anna, she's a, I believe she plays the alto saxophone and stuff. It's just, just a Roger great, just free jazz and world music mixed mixed together. And you can see the tracks, there's no names, it just says, you know, track one, two, three, four, and five. And stuff but I really love this stuff you can see one of the guys plays Kimbalas and has a megaphone trumpet cornet and it's just a free-for-all here some of this some of the parts in the compositions there they get a little quiet and then it just goes off into <laughs> all these spacey kind of things and you can see I know it all just funny she's an only woman and she's kind of like in control of all these big guys but definitely this is called tone hunting and I love that picture right there on the front there it's a great picture so definitely, this is really something I think you guys would like out there. Uh, this is another one, I believe, from the Clean Feet label, John Herbert Trio, Flood Stage. Mm -hmm. I love that. I love that cover too. This is more, I guess, a close to like a um, John Herbert on double bass. Who does Ben Wild, Della Q on piano, analog synthesizers, electronics, and drums. Just very good, like avant-garde, electronica stuff. Stuff there, and I love this cover right there, all that stuff. So definitely check that out, the John Herbert Trio and stuff. It's really good, really forgot how good, how good this was. Excellent. And one more from the Clean Feet label. This is one called Twine Forest with Angelica Sanchez and Wada Leo Smith. I think says I think says Wada da Leo Smith. And it's just um, and Angelica Sanchez on piano and Wada da Leo Smith on trumpet. Just great avant-garde minimalist stuff. And you can see there's Angelica right there. And Mr. Houston right there with his with his great braids right there. This is beautiful, beautiful stuff guys. Just fantastic avant-garde free great compositions, quiet in some places and just beautiful and I love that I love that artwork right there. So the clean free feed label definitely label you guys should definitely check out. So definitely beautiful. And this one 
I forgot even I had this one. This is George Winston, Blues, Ballads and Blues, 1972, the early recordings, piano solos, and I love that picture right there. And it pretty much says it all. I like about this, it has bonus tracks right there. If you guys get a look at that. This was what the original cover looked like, even more beautiful there and stuff. And then what it is, it's ballads and blues, just in my solo piano. It's beautiful stuff, guys. Yeah, it's really, really, really nice. Open up there. You can see it's got that booklet with that beautiful shot right there. I don't know, when I think all that, those pictures, I don't know, I don't know, it reminds me of Gary Cosme Pickle for some reason, how he likes photography and stuff with the pictures and stuff with the cover. But definitely beautiful stuff, George Winston, Ballad and Blues. Now this next one, yeah, I definitely have to give credit to Carm for some of these, because one of the ones he showed, there was an artist, I forgot the artist, but he had an artist that played on the album, and that artist was Deborah Henson Conan, and this is um, called in the act, this is on the GRP label, I think came out in 1990, I love this woman, this music is beautiful, floaty, new age, spacey, jazzy, and so many different layers of it and stuff, it's beautiful, and you can see some of the players there. You see George Ginger and Chili Minucci, special effects, who actually, Chili Minucci produced this for her. And you have Noel Pointer, who was a great violin player. I believe he's no longer with us. Fernando Sanders and stuff. This is just beautiful stuff. I love this one. I've, I am saw her live like two others, like known in mid 90s. My uncle took him to see her. She was amazing. But this album is just beautiful. Great, beautiful, floaty. And this, and this mystical is just beautiful stuff. So definitely Deborah Henson Conant, called in the act. And this is another one by Deborah Henson Conant. This is on. This is called On the Rise on the GRP label. This came out in 1989 before called in the act. Another one is just beautiful. And I'll see if I can get a good. It said, it says, and Mark Egan plays on it and stuff. Just beautiful. There's so many great beautiful compositions on here, just so many different stuff, you know, layers of it and stuff, new agey, jazzy in some places, just stuff, it's great stuff, so, and that's it on the GRP label, and you see Deborah right there, so, definitely, Deborah Henson Konak on the rise. Oh, just to let you know, you see this guy here, and I'll show you what this means, this guy, Cafe, here, just remember that name as I get to this one. This is one of my favorite you know, piano players, Eliani Elias, so far so close. And um, this was, when did this come out? In 1989, just great piano stuff by her. And you can see some of the great players, Michael Randy Brecker, and she was married to Randy Brecker for a long time, but they got divorced like not too long ago. Don Elias, and you can see that same guy, Cafe, on there. And stuff, Peter Erkstein on drums, Will Lee on bass, this is just great just great some of the stuff is like I don't know I don't know kind of mix it like with old jazz new jazz stuff but there's a few elements of like I guess you call bossa nova mixed up in there because it is Elias does that a lot she wanted bossa nova stuff and this was produced by Diodato so definitely it's definitely good so Eliani Elias so far so close what else this is another one that I haven't played in years and I forgot how good it is this is Jerry Allen, the gathering. Jerry Allen is a piano player, composer, and um, I'm not sure what year this came out. 1996. Oh God, is, is it that old? It's good. She's great, and you can see some of the players on there. Great avant-garde jazz, nice piano and trio pieces. But you can see some of the people: Wallace Roney, Robin Eubanks, Vernon Reed of um, Living Color plays on here. Buster Williams and Lenny White. And you can see it's just great stuff. Wallace Roney, who's the trumpet player, is her husband, I believe, and stuff. You can see, let me get the book that out here, guys, real quick. Let's just show you that. Where is it at? Here it is. And you can see, you can see Buster Williams right there. Then you can see Vernon Reed and Lenny White right there. Vernon plays acoustic and electric guitar. It's just great, 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 great. Like I said, some of it is avant-garde. Some of it is like just straight ahead jazz, but Jerry Allen is like one of the best. Forget female, you know, just a female piano player. She's just a fantastic piano player. So this is Jerry Allen. The, ga the Gathering, don't you get that? I'm going to the world, I had to pull this out. I forgot how good it is. Sheila Chandra, Moonsong, A Real World Perspective. 
I love this woman's voice. And it's just mostly just her voice and a drone machine. Her voice is very haunting. It's mesmerizing. It just kind of, you know, gets you and stuff. Just hear like some of the places, some of the things where she sounds, sounds a little dark, sounds a little airy and spacey, but this woman's voice is like, oh, it's like unbelievable. And just her in a drone machine, if you can believe that it is Sandra right there. This is like, they took, you know, you know, certain tracks from a lot of her albums and stuff, but definitely, you guys should definitely check this out. Sheila, Sandra, this is Moonsong, a real perspective. There's just beautiful stuff, so you guys definitely have to check that out and stuff. Next, this is another one that I was thinking when I was playing Carmen, maybe Kyle and Medicine Horse. This is Native Native Flamingo. You see the guys, Ruben Romero, Robert Tree Cody, and Tony Redhouse. Just beautiful stuff with flamingo guitars and these elements of just beautiful wind instruments. The Native, and I'll sh show you guys, you can see the guys right there. You can see them right there. Mm -hmm. There you go. Oop, I almost dropped another CD. Remember last time, guys? There you go. You can just see the stuff they play there. You know, flutes, vocals, and mer flutes. This is just beautiful stuff. I just listen to this, and it just like oh, just takes you to a place you don't know. Just mix those elements together. Native stuff right there, but definitely this native flamingo. Beautiful stuff. And I love that picture of the ladies dancing on it. That's the reason I brought it. I didn't think it was that good when I first got it. Thinking of um, Carm, this is one of the CDs that he sent me. Austin's Savag Link. I love this thing. So many different elements. Classical, jazz, new age. I mean, it's just beautiful, beautiful stuff. Modern jazz, it's all mixed up in there. And it's just, and it just goes through all these different motions and stuff. So, so calm. I gotta thank you for this when you sent me this. Didn't know what to expect, and I played it again. And this is on the Windham Hill Records, which is a great label. So, this is Einstein Savag Link. Thanks again, Carm. That's a great CD. And that's give a little credit some regular jazz, the West Montgomery Trio, and stuff. This was recorded in New York on October 5th and 6th, 1959, and stuff. And it's just great. You can see around midnight and stuff yesterday's the end of a love affair but it's just great just to see that thing with the organ guitar and the drum that's beautiful beautiful stuff yep and i love that cover art that's beautiful art where they made that and stuff so this is west montgomery trio subtitle right there beautiful next one this is andy summers Peggy's Blue Skylight, Andy Summers Guitars for the Police. I haven't played this in years and I forgot how good it was. Andy, this is so good. And it just has all these different elements of like space jazz, I don't know, bluesy, and some of the players on it are really good and stuff. And it's just, oh yeah, this song, there's, there's, a, there's a song called here, Weird Nightmare, where Deborah Harry, there's like the vocals on it right there at the bottom, Weird Nightmare. Deborah Harry sings on it. It's just all these different elements. And I just, and there's one track it does with the jazz passengers. And then like, and like, it also has like a classical composition at the end of it, which I say, whoa, Andy, you're all over the place. And that's what I love this, but this is so good. Definitely. Andy Summers, Peggy Blue Skylight. Stuff. When I'm thinking that, I'm thinking of, I think it was, who was it? Was it Gary? Yeah, I think it was Gary that showed some of Andy's stuff, but I don't know if he has this one, so definitely check that one out. And last but not least, my boy, David Ferensky. Head, this is David Ferensky and the headless torsos. What is this? Alamanda, Alamanda, as I say. Just great. I love this art. He's just kind of like avant-garde, electric jazz rock. It reminds me a little bit of a mixture of a, like Manovishu Orchestra with a little bit of a harder, you know, edge with a lot of more stronger thing on the guitar portion and stuff. But definitely David Flinsky. I love that art there. And I think his wife did the art right there. Get a chance to hold this and show. Too, you can see the guys playing there. Look at that. But David Flinsky, headless torsos. Almadala, that's how you say it. Yeah, Almadala, so definitely. Pick that up. It's really good. So, guys, we've come to the end of another one. I guess you're saying, shh, thank God we did now. So, guys, that's it for me for now. I hope you all are doing well. I'm just taking everything day by day, which is all I can do. So, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and leave a comment, and I will see you guys later.
Peace out.